Hello. So what we have is tangent of x equals plus or minus 1. And what I want to do is show you how to um, write all of the solutions for all the solutions of tangent of equals plus or minus 1, and not only just the solutions on an interval of 0 to 2 pi. So the first thing we want to do is actually just find all the solutions on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. So therefore, we can rightfully actually figure out what all the solutions are going to be of the graph. So the first thing, when tangent equals plus or minus 1, remember tangent is on the unit circle is when we, when we take our coordinates, our y coordinate over our x coordinate. So the only ang there's four angles or four solutions that we're going to have for this problem on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. And I'm not going to write over all of them because you can just see all these are just reflections which now the x being negative, the y being negative, or the x and y being negative, and here the y being negative. But our angles are going to be pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So if I was going to ask you to find all the solutions on the interval of 0 and 2 pi, then you would write down those simple solutions. And you just say, well, tan the angle tangent tangent of the angle when equal to plus or minus 1 is equal when the angle is x equals pi over 4, when x equals 3 pi over 4, when x equals 5 pi over 4, and when x equals 7 pi over 4. But what if I ask you to find all of the solutions to the graph? And so to find all of the solutions to the graph, what we're going to want to do is take a look at the graph of tangent and see how is that going to replicate past our interval of 0 and 2 pi. So let's go ahead and make a nice little graph of the tangent function. So remember the tangent function starts at the first um, initial period at negative pi halves and at pi halves. And then that's where your two vertical asymptotes occur. So then it goes something like this, with a nice little intercept there. So then my next intercept is going to be at pi, and then another intercept at 3 pi halves. Then I'm going to have another intercept at 2 pi, and then another intercept here at 5 pi halves. So it's going to cross here, look something like that. OK. <clears throat> so this is what the tangent function looks like. And remember, this is going to keep on repeating on and on in the positive and in the negative direction. But we said that there's solutions between 0 and 2 pi. And there's only four solutions when tangent equaled plus or minus 1. So when it equaled plus or minus 1 was at pi force, which makes sense. That would be pi force. And then also at um, pi force, and then also not at 3 pi over 4, but at, um, why didn't I write that correctly? And then at 5 pi over 4, which would make sense right there, which is just past 5. Then it equaled negative 1 at uh, 3 pi over 4, let's say so negative 1, which would be right there, and that's 1, at 3 pi over 4, as well as at 7 pi over 4. So you can see there's, there are four solutions. Now, what about the solutions that are going to continue on outside of 2 pi, right? What about when I continue my graph going like this or in the negative direction? How am I going to rewrite every single one of those distance or one of those solutions? Well, one thing I want you guys to notice is these solutions are going to keep on repeating each other because whenever my graph crosses at 1, I'm going to have a solution, right? Or when it crosses at negative 1, I'm also going to have a solution. So what I want you to understand is you could say, well, if I just keep on adding 2 pi, if I add 2 pi to my original answer, pi over 4, that means I'm going to get the next solution. And if I add 2 pi to this solution, I'm going to get the next solution. And you can keep on doing that for all of your solutions. But what's going to happen is you're going to get redundancy. And what I want you to understand is if you look at, let's take the distance from this solution to this solution. Then let's take a look at the distance from this solution to this solution. This solution to this solution to this solution. And what you notice is on an interval of 0 and 2 pi, what we really have is we have our four solutions, which each have an individual distance of pi halves, pi halves, pi halves, pi halves. And you can also notice this on the unit circle. Rather than saying pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4, you can also say pi over 4 plus pi plus pi plus pi. And that's going to cover those two solutions. 
But why keep on doing it? Just why add 2 pi to this answer or even add pi to this answer to get to these two? When all you have to do is if I have this answer, pi fourths, if I add pi halves one time, I get to this answer. If I add it twice, this answer. Again, three times, this answer. Um, four times, and you can just keep on adding pi halves, and you're going to cover all of the solutions. So that rather than writing all of the separate solutions and adding 2 pi, I can just say pi over 4 plus pi halves n. And that's going to now cover all of my solutions for the tangent equals plus or minus 1. So I don't need to rewrite all these because it's going to be a redundant answer. So my final solution for tangent of x equals plus or minus 1 is x equals pi over 4 plus pi halves n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve for all the solutions with tangent of plus or minus 1. Thanks.